child, what would you like for Christmas? How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Oh, don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. Last week in Adventures in Hotel Prius, Camper and I made it to Arizona. We started off hiking in the Superstition Mountains, then visited family in Phoenix where we did some iconic Phoenix hikes, went scorpion hunting, and just had a ton of fun. And then the dreaded day came. After two years of living in this Prius, we got robbed. It was a bummer, but we weren't gonna let that slow us down. So we recouped, headed north, and after a full day of driving, finally stopped for the evening. This has got to be the prettiest rest stop we have ever slept at. Oh my God. And it just kept getting better. This really is the best rest stop. We got some live music, huh, Cam? What an awesome way to end the evening. Good morning. Okay, what do you want to do? <laughs> you want to go on a hike? Yeah. All right, we're gonna change up and hit the road. You ready? All right, I think we're gonna head to Sedona. There are a ton of short hikes so we can balance a lot of work this week and it's only an hour away. When we got to the trailhead, as expected, there was a line for parking, even on a Monday. Okay, well, I came to check out parking and now I'm literally blocked in, so I guess we're just gonna wait for a spot. Hmm, that wasn't so bad. That was maybe only like 15 minutes. For Sedona, I would say that's a win. <laughs> Eager to get moving, we immediately geared up and hit the trail. All right, let's go hiking. All right, today we are doing a super iconic hike in Sedona. It is called Cathedral Rock and it's absolutely amazing. It's a pretty short hike. It's only a mile and a half, but it's pretty steep, making it a challenging one, but super doable. Don't worry, we're bringing you guys with us to the top. Let's go. Can you do it? Go ahead. Yes. Being the only dog that was able to make it up these trails that day, he was quite the hit. Camera, you're so cute. <laughs> and he did it with ease. We got a super steep one. We got Camper leading the way. Good boy. Now I wouldn't recommend this trail for dogs unless your dog is a seasoned hiker like mine. We have a mountain climber. Or comfortable being carried in your arms. But also note, you'll have to be confident in climbing with a dog in your arms. We did it, camp! Yeah! All right. Hardest part is over. Well, at least going up. We're almost at the top. He did it! Woo! But once you get to the top, that's where most people stop. But if you go exploring a little bit more, you will find a nice little treasure. Okay. Ooh. This is steep. This is steep and tough. Okay. Now that's cool. Made it to the top. Yeah, Cam. Woo. <laughs> Okay, I know. Mama, he wants me away from here. <laughs> Camper, we did good, didn't we? What do you think, man? That was amazing. Now we're going back down. Now here is the gnarly part. Come here. He loves being held, thank God. Good boy. Camper, you did that all by yourself. Good boy. Yep, right behind me. I got you, big boy. Yep, we're just gonna slide. <gasps> yes! Look at that. We did so good. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Great. Okay. 
great job. Nice. <laughs> right to another dog lover. See you later. Nice to meet you. All right. Oh, wow. There are so many people waiting, so we're going to try to hurry here. I always feel so bad for the people waiting, so I always like speed out of my spot and then get ready somewhere else. So now those guys have a spot and now we just, we're gonna find a place to kind of just chill for a minute. <laughs> what a good hike. So we posted up at the grocery store, restocked, and put everything away Hotel Prius style. All right now, oh, oh, oh. I'm really praying right now that this is a clean bag. Yeah, let's get to me. Ooh, I'm gonna use that box for my salad so I don't have to dirty anything. Then, as usual, made my salad. Wow. Mmm. That's just all of my fish. I know. Okay, now that I had lunch slash breakfast, I can think clearly. Sedona is a little busy right now. So we're gonna keep heading north for a place to sleep and our beloved truck stop showers. <gasps> Ooh, this one's nice, Camp, huh? Worth it every time, <laughs> by the way. This truck stop has a bathtub. Can you believe it, dude? No freaking way, I left that in the whole time. That was dumb. On that note, we headed to bed, as tomorrow would be a full day of adventure. Good morning, handsome. Well, 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 how did you wake up this morning? So, we packed up the car, ever so gracefully removed our window coverings, bets on corner pocket, oh yeah, shook out our top sheet, got a pup cup, and some coffee, and headed straight for another favorite Sedona and Flagstaff area hike. Okay. <laughs> all right, camp, we got the last parking spot. Whoop, whoop. So I put up all my window covers and I am shamelessly gonna wear the exact same thing I wore yesterday. So I'll be right back. All right, we're all changed up, packed up and ready. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do actually today, since we are just doing a ton of camping and not a lot of driving, uh, I'm gonna set up my Jackery portable power station and the solar panels. I love these things, look how small they are. Huh. They fit right under my mattress. And so I'm gonna go ahead, prepare to be mind blown. I'm gonna set these up in the dash. So that's my favorite thing about the Jackery is that you can essentially have power anywhere you go. And one of my favorite ways to get power when I'm not driving a lot and charging up through long drives is through these solar panels. So on a day like today where I'm doing a large hike, I can still charge up because the solar panel is in my dash. <sighs> Can't believe I didn't think about this sooner. If you would like to get a power station for yourself, please use the link in my description as that helps out Camper and I. Okay, Camp, you ready to go hiking? I was born ready. All right, let's go Camp. All right, this should be a pretty easy hiking day. This one's about like eight miles. Not too much elevation change. <sighs> I love it here. Other than the obvious beauty, this hike is known for its many river crossings. All right, crossing number two. Oh, people are making this one slippery. Along with its diverse and towering walls surrounding the river. We weren't kidding. There are a ton of river crossings and we're just getting started. What is this camp, five or six? What do we got? All right, we're doing another one camp. Woo, good boy. One last river crossing, we finally made it to what most call the end of the trail, but not us. This is amazing. So most people stop right over here, but we are gonna keep on going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't like the water, huh? All right, let's see how far we're gonna get. Woo, it's cold. We had a blast making our way down the river. 
Yes, good boy. Picking up trail treasures. And exploring the canyon. Okay, I think that's the furthest we're gonna take it down this river today. This is amazing. Technically, if you go down here another like two and three quarters miles, there's a camp spot to uh, camp overnight. All right, I think we got about four miles back the other way. So there's everybody at the end. All right, we did it, dude. There she is. After the amazing hike, we made a salad and headed to our beloved truck stop shower. All right, we're back for a shower, and this time we've got bleach. Seven, eight, oh, we went too far. We went too far. This time we didn't forget the key. Oh. <laughs> you guys are probably wondering, oh shoot, Nicole, why the bleach? Well, Chaco's floss. So the bacteria from going through the water gets stuck in there, and after a while it smells. So we bleach them. And this is when a bathtub comes in handy. I don't recommend bleaching in a shirt you like. Okay. Let's go, mister. Another successful day. Ending in some snacks, work, and a good night's sleep. Good night, make a boy. The next morning, we woke up ready to explore Flagstaff. There are, of course, many more Sedona hikes I love, but decided to stay local to skip the weekend crowds. You gotta check this out. Some favorites are Devil's Bridge, Soldier's Pass, and a few super cool cave hikes. Highly recommended for anyone trying to visit the area. Uh, we have been staying in Flagstaff every day, showering here, hanging out, and then using it as our hub. Today we're staying in Flagstaff and we're gonna just hike around here. So we're starting with Pitcher Canyon. Uh, this is not on all trails. It's kind of like a local thing, petroglyphs. So let's go check it out. Oh yeah, look over there. So this is such a nice morning walk, jog, nice and flat, really beautiful. Does anyone else find that gross? Is that gross? I've never done that before. We needed water, so. Other than some superb trail running, this trail also features a great waterfall. This weekend was awesome, checking out the dog park, working on our fitness, having some great meals, taking more trail runs, and always checking back in with our beloved truck stop. Okay, for one, it's freezing, but I've been here three nights in a row. They got all these lights up today. This is so cool. These lights just put you in a good mood. All right, surprise, not surprised. I'm taking my third shower at the same place because this place is so good. I don't even care how expensive it is. Then headed to bed. We of course had to top off the weekend with Mount Eldon. After caffeinating, of course. Mount Eldon is one of the more dominant features towering over the town, so we had to tackle it. Yes. Hello, Flagstaff. With over 2,500 feet in elevation gain and over six miles round trip, this local treasure poses quite a challenge. Okay. This hike looked a lot smaller from the bottom. Woo! I freaking did it, man. Woo! All right, dude, you ready to go back down? All right. Ugh. All right, you guys, I went to this truck stop three days in a row now, and I keep eyeing this jacuzzi. And I think when we get to the bottom, we're gonna make a bubble bath <sighs> with a lot of bleach. <sighs> home sweet home. There it is. Woo. <sighs> All right, on that note, we're gonna get some bubble bath cleaning supplies and hit the jacuzzi. Oh, it's bath time. Oh my God, no, thank no, you so much. Like we got so lucky while we were checking out, Mike donated a shower. Yeah. Oh, you're the best, Mike. All right, 
Party time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on notifications as it really helps out Camper and I. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. I'm Santa Claus. Hello, child. What would you like for Christmas? I am from Harry Potter. I will teach you all of the wizardry. I haven't watched enough Harry Potter to get that right. I'm Gandalf. Wait, what's his name? That's enough fallen night.